Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Armored Fortress Let's Play, brought to you by your old buddy, Don't Fear the Reaper. Today's replay is part two in our three-part series of the M1134 review, or a revisit of the review, which I titled, Did the Missile Buff Make Me Want This Now? Now, in part one, um friend Major Payne and I had succumbed to the temptation of buying this tank, it being 30% off, and uh, added to that uh, the fact that I am pretty much a self-avowed preemie whore in this game. Uh, up until yesterday, I owned every premium tank in the game, with the exception of the M1134. So, having bought it... Um, we decided to really stress test it, and both of us took it out for a spin together in a random pub match. And it didn't go particularly well. The matchmaker was uh, really unkind to us. Um, <clears throat> but I have to say I was uh, surprised at how well it did uh, in what was uh, clearly a, a bad circumstance. So today, <clears throat> we're going to uh, take a look at the uh, Missile Striker under a little better circumstance. Uh, today, uh, only I am taking the Missile Striker out. Uh, Major Payne is going to be going out in a good main battle tank Challenger 1, and we're going to be playing this on the Frostbite, Frostbite map, which has some pretty good open country, which should work well for this little tank. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get the replay fired up, and we'll get this show on the road. Right. You can see we're on the uh, Frostbite map. Uh, we have um, three main battle tanks, although two of them are Tier 5. Um, <clears throat> and we have another tank destroyer, the ERC-90 F4, a very good tank destroyer. So now I decide I'm going to play... Um, this, rather than as a scout, uh, a spotting scout, uh, as a long-range sniper. So I'm going to kind of lay back and try and stay out of the view range of the enemy and support the battle tanks as they spot the bots. The That's not going to give me Restore maximum experience, but at this point we're, we're learning this tank. Uh, And first blood to me, so strategy is, at least in the first few seconds of the game, working well, because I got the second kill as well. And the battle tank pops up, Major Payne spots him. Enemy destroyed. And I swat him. No orders, Black Company. Get over there and cover Looking our good, Black looking Company. good. Put the kibosh on that BMP, and so far, all four kills we have scored have been by me. As you can see, I'm well behind the front line. Nobody's spotting me back here. Of course, I'm not doing much in the way of spotting myself. Oh, gets uh. Get a nice big solid hit on that uh, experimental, I mean that expeditionary tank, but um, one of the other guys gets the kill. Um, like <clears throat> the I'm really Drive them back, Black pleasantly surprised at the handling of this. Of course, you know, we got a, a wheeled vehicle buff a few patches back, 
and that combined with the missile buff well done, Black Company. It looks like really the worst of it. to me seems to make this tank kind of rise above its rather poor reputation the enemy is changing it looks like I'm working my way over to next. get the secondary my uh, speed And I managed to grab it. No enemies in the AO. Proceed to the next location. Hostile spotted. So now the second objective has popped up. And where we're sitting right now, um, Major and I are pretty neck and neck as far as damage. Uh, although uh, the ERC is doing quite well in that category as well. Get back and take the last 10 hit points off of that uh, warrior. I'm sure that was the best use of missiles, but hey, I got 50 of them. Hmm. Just noticed I got a little bit of a replay bug going on here. None of the information is being recorded in that. Uh, vehicle silhouette on the left hand side of the screen fairly new because uh, looking at a replay from yesterday that did not have that little problem so here Major's uh, calling on me to assist him dealing with that lieutenant and I finally started to draw the ire of the enemy artillery. And we take the lieutenant out. Now we've got bots on the second cap, but he's maneuvering to go intercept and scrape the cap clean. I'm thinking about going arty hunting, but decide to uh, make double darn sure we don't get capped by the bots before uh, I do that. No enemies in the AO. Take out that Proceed last secondary while I'm at it. Fired at a Bradley, and of course it has APS. It destroyed my missile. ERC fires off his smoke, but I'm not actually in the smoke cloud, so it can interfere with my ability to spot and shoot at the enemy. ERC's a, <clears throat> a lot worse for the wear after that uh, little firefight. to ignore the bagel and go grab that secondary but as I come up on the bridge two enemy main battle tanks pop up fortunately they had not spotted me this thing has really good camouflage I pop one of them with the first missile and the second missile is a bit of a face palm as I hit the scaffolding on the bridge oh well The other tanks move up, they've got things well in hand, so I move on to take the secondary. Identify target. Awful tank. Again, another enemy battle tank. Area uh, looks cleared. No sign of Chinese. Kind of the nuisance for a second, but two missiles uh, take care of him rather nicely. Identify target. I have to say I'm I'm very happy with the missiles this tank clear. for its no tier. They're fast, and they pack quite a punch. They're jocking around for a shot. We Not are all the secondaries are done. Until they arrive. Uh, the ERC has managed to get himself killed, but um, the T-72, Major Payne, and I uh, are all holding our own on doing damage. Artillery has once again taken a, a very active interest in me. 
And we've got enemy bots. It looks like a lot of enemy bots uh, crawling over the cap. So I need to start doing something about that. Was trying to lay up a shot on that LA on that uh, two AV, <clears throat> but decide that uh, helping to clear the cap is far more important. That's what I head over here to do. I get over here in this road, which is a little bit sunken, gives me a little bit of protection on my hull. Artillery is still annoying the heck out of me. Although, as far as the damage goes, it isn't that horrible. I've only taken 415, but darn near all of it from artillery. So we're starting to scrape the cap, and then Bradley pops up on my right. Deal with him. Artillery is still annoying me. Start backing up. Got to get that Bradley out of there. While all of this is going on, we lose our uh, one of our Tier 5 main battle tanks. The P-72 goes down. Kill off the Bradley. Maneuvering again. And artillery shows itself and there is nothing more satisfying in this game than knocking out an artillery piece that's been chewing on you the whole game that felt good so we are almost out of time and a much much better game this time uh, than our first game Major actually blue starred. I came in second. Um, so a, a very worthy effort for this vehicle. Um, again, I would not give it an unqualified thumbs up. I give it a qualified thumbs up. Uh, it uh, You need to uh, be careful about your map selection. And, um, it's really, really helpful to have at least one battle buddy. Make sure that you have one decent battle tank with you that you can support if you're going to play this thing the way I'm currently playing it uh, as a long-range sniper. <coughs> so that was uh, a very good game. Uh, I quite enjoyed playing it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, got a little more information on deciding on whether you want to revisit the option to purchase the or So until uh, we come out with part three, we'll catch you next time and happy tanking.